Hi, Brandon here again with Timeless Aerial Photography to go over some quick tips with you on flying drones. We get a lot of emails and a lot of questions on how, where do I start, how do I get better, where do I go to from here. We're going to cover all these topics real quick with you, give you the quick tips, how to get you out there quicker, everything you need to know. Okay, to go over some quick tips with you on flying drones from the start to getting better at the basics to getting better at the cinematography and really getting your footage out there and showing your professional skills. First of all, you bought a drone, I recommend always starting off in a nice open field. Not your backyard that might have trees around it, a uh, nice big open field. Uh, when you first turn them on, uh, the controls might be very sensitive. It's very easy to get the drones turned around, go in the wrong direction, and there's probably a good possibility you've put it in sport mode already and it's trying to go way too fast and you're going to hit something. So start a nice open field. You won't have any issues at all. From there, let me get my handy -hand notebook. From there, really uh, bring your drone down. Stop flying it at 400 feet. You're not going to learn anything from there. Uh, just bring it down a nice normal level. Bring it down to ground level, six foot off the ground, and start really flying it around from there. It's where you could watch it. When you're above the tree line, nice and high, there's nothing to really obstacles to fly around. You're not going to learn anything from there. The only thing you're going to learn is pointing the camera up and down. That's about it. So bring your drone down. I recommend bring it down and walking behind it. Turning it on, bring it up eye level, keeping it a little distance away from you, walking behind your drone as you fly it. This way, as you maneuver the controls, you're getting to see what the drone's doing, exactly how it's moving. So as it's a little bit away from you and you're looking at the screen, you're doing the controls, you know what that drone's doing. You know which way it's going, so you're not gonna back it up into a tree or hit tree branches, which we all have done. You will, don't worry, it happens. Um, so just walk behind it. And just take your time. You'll see different videos we have of uh, you're going through trails. We just stay a little behind the drone sometimes. We'll fly the drone through the trails as much as we can. We'll catch up with the drone. Uh, just walk behind it. It's great practice. Uh, from there, uh, I recommend going to a park uh, that has a nice big parking lot, uh, maybe some roadways in it also. Flying those roadways. Like over here, uh, we'll zoom in here and get you a better shot. Okay, zoomed in here to my nice whiteboard. Uh, I love a dry erase board. Uh, I'm not the greatest artist. I can fly a drone. I'm not the greatest at drawing a straight line though. So what I'm talking about going to a park. So this is kind of a quick sketch of a park over here that we have. Little parking lot areas, roadway, roadway, and a little turnaround up in here for cars to turn around at. So one of the things that we did a lot in the beginning, and we still do, is to really get the training on how your drone's gonna react to get that good cinematography footage. It's just flying in a simple roadway. These parks usually are dead during the week. We always swing into them those times to really practice. You don't wanna be flying over cars or flying around people like that. Don't do it, it's illegal, get in trouble, you'll hurt somebody. <clears throat> so just get yourself a nice parking spot, get yourself in a nice chair, and really just take your time, keep the drone about six foot up off the ground, eight foot, and just drive the roadway. But try to keep it nice and still, smooth. You're just gonna come up through nice and smooth. Come up to these turns, come through them nice and smooth. Put your camera on record so you can see it afterwards how your footage looks. Because nobody wants to see the footage. We all know it, that the drone goes. Okay, nobody wants to see that. Nobody does. We get it. Everybody learns. That's where you start. Now here's where you learn more. So just come up. You're going to start going around these corners. Going around the corners more and more and more. So you can feel how that drone reacts. You almost want to fishtail it. Because you're not going to just bring the camera straight and turn the camera. It's going to turn too quick on you. Even if you have your controls turned down. To get that nice and smooth turn, you're going to bring the rear end of the drone around as you're turning the drone. So you're almost fishtailing the drone, I always say. So focusing on, as you're coming in, you're gonna focus the camera, start focusing on this middle point as you're coming around and just shoot it down the road. Now, just keep coming around your corners, focusing on your corners. Just take your time, slow down. I always start by slow down. It's easier to speed footage up, but slow it down, get good smooth footage. You can speed it up and do anything you want to it. Slowing it down, you're only do that so much and then it's gonna look real choppy, it's gonna look like crap, no one's gonna to wanna to use it. So go to your parks, go someplace, a roadway, out in the countryside, someplace you can have trails, 
something you can follow that has a nice line to it, curves to it, something you have to follow besides going up above the tree line and just flying around. We get it. We all love the treetop view. But when it comes to really learning some more and trying to get better at the cinematography look of coming around nice and smooth, you'll see in our videos, you know, we really try that. Is to always keep that so smooth, not having to keep a straight shot and then cut it, turn, put a new shot in this way. All one continuous shot is where you want it. <clears throat> so go to your parks, practice, practice, practice. Fly up about six, eight foot off the ground. So it's right, you're right there. That's the view you're gonna get a lot. People want that view. We don't really get a lot of requests for treetop views. A couple of photos maybe for real estate, but that's not the way it works. So your camera's gonna be used nice and low a lot of times too. So just fly these, fly them. Fly the parks, fly different places like this that you can go to that are private maybe. You can spend some time at, do it over and over. That's all I can say, over and over. We have thousands of flights, hundreds and hundreds of hours on different, different drones. So we've been doing this a long time and uh, I will tell you, we're still learning. You're always learning. Don't ever think you've learned it all because you haven't. So this is just one thing that we can go over and over with you is flying like this. this is, I can't emphasize this enough, is learning this way, it'll help you a lot. Okay, and again, we will not say this enough. When flying drones and learning to fly them, slow down. If you're going to be using them for anything, cinematography like that, slow down with the controls and everything. Granted, we know the drones can do 45 mile an hour and the Phantom with a good tailwind and Addy mode, I've had it 65 mile an hour. They will go fast. That's fun. But to really learn to get those shots you need for real estate, for other different companies, media companies, your own company, for stock footage and so forth, you really just need to slow down. You can speed the footage up a little bit easy, but slowing it, trying to slow footage down, you're really gonna come up with a lot of choppy footage unless you're shooting at a high uh, frames, per, frames per second. So slow down with your footage, slow down trying to learn it. Uh, just like I said, slow down and then keep flying. Go out all the time, fly and fly and fly. Like I said, to walk behind the drone so you can see what the drone's doing. So as you're walking behind the drone, your fingers are doing everything. You're not paying attention to what your hands are doing. It's almost cutting it off and it's becoming reaction for you. That's what you want. You want this to become reaction. So you're not really thinking about the controls. You just, it's automatic. It's muscle memory. So it just takes time. It's like anything. It takes a lot of practice to really narrow in those skills to get those good cinematography shots that you want to do. So just practice, 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 fly every day if you can, and slow down. Um, that's pretty much what it comes down to, is just taking your time and slow down flying. So uh, about everything we could tell you we've done, we've learned, um, you know, watch out for tree, or tree limbs, uh, they'll get you, uh, especially this time of year when there's no leaves on the trees, uh, those little limbs that are sticking out, uh, they'll get you every time. The Mavic 2 series, I love that because of the folding props, they'll save you versus the, uh, Phantom series uh, with the stiff props, you know, it'll trash a drone in a heartbeat when you clip a tree limb, uh, it doesn't have to be very far, come down, break landing gear and camera and so forth. So take your time, start an open field, walk behind your drone, just take your time, fly, fly every day. Uh, if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below, subscribe, we're going to have lots of videos coming out here, we hope to help you, we're going to show you everything we've done with our business. So. If you have any more questions, please, again, put them in the comments, subscribe. Thank you again for watching.